All right, you probably have seen this planner in the background of some of my videos, but um, we got a new planner. We do row crops for rotation for our nursery, so we were doing uh, soybeans and wheat up until this point, and um, no corn, but now, as you can see, we may have the ability to do corn. We won't be doing it our first year for sure, and um, there's other equipment upgrades we'd need to make to do that. So for us, what we're doing, we may not get into corn or wheat and soybean rotation along with Sudan grass, clovers, certain things like that is a nice fit for us. We, we upgraded from a uh, 5100 International Soybean Special Drill. We took off every other row, so we were planting 14 inch beans on there and seven inch wheat. We still will run that planter for wheat and there will be some fields where we will use that planter still for beans. So, so this is a 1790 John Deere. It's a 2004 model. What I really wanted was a corn planter with a metering system so we had more consistency more consistency in our furrow for seed spacing. So this is on 15 inch centers. I don't like a planter with 30 inch centers because with what we're doing, we're using no residuals for herbicide. We're using a uh, pretty strict Roundup Power Max program. And the reason we're doing that is because we don't want to put anything down on the soil that could effectively be there, which hasn't been or is not friendly around apple tree roots. Uh, we've seen a lot of instances where, you know, someone puts down a nice herbicide for corn and that next year someone goes in to plant young orchard trees and the trees just sit there. Um, that's one thing why we're running our own program so we can control what goes on to the ultimate goal. The main reason is for our trees on why we're doing this building soil health. So where I was going with that is we like 15 inch rows because hopefully by July 4th, those rows are canopied. The sunlight cannot get to the lower base. And basically um, there's no reason to use those residual herbicides because we get a nice canopy stand and um, increased growth. So I'll talk about more on why, why we went this route. But some of the features on this planter is uh, you can see we're stripping down all the seed disc openers and basically rebuilding everything. We're going to leave this frame and everything else is getting rebuilt. These are vacuum meters. So what that means is we have the seed disc out of these right now. A little bit of gunk in there. But it holds vacuum pressure and drops the seed more uniformly and comes down the seed tube. The seed gets delivered through this hose into this mini hopper from the bulk tank up above. So 15 inch rows, this is a 12 row 30 inch center or 24 row 15 inch center. So we have all the gauge wheels off, starting to take off the seed meters. We're taking off the fertilizer two, two by two because we don't need, we're not going to be doing corn. So we don't need all that weight. We're going to lighten this planter up. One thing with these planters that uh, people get away from is they are heavy. The John Deere is a heavy frame. Um, it's a lot of weight on those four wheels right there. You got the one wing wheels on each wing, but a lot of weight going through the field so you need a lot of horsepower and and yeah you need good soil conditions so that's what we're going to shoot for prime soil conditions go when it's right hit it hard and get it done in a few days this frame structurally from what we've noticed and inspected things are solid it's heavy so we got new discs you close and wheel, things like that.
few days since uh, the earlier footage in this video, but what we've done is we come back through and Matt's put on all new seed discs. We did seed discs and then I welded up where the seed tube guards go. So basically these were all worn up so what I did is re-weld it and some of these were snapped off so we put those on and then what we did is the closing wheelies were about ready to break through so we just added some weld on there to to limp it through get a few more years out of this these components down here but all new disc openers uh, went through we got some closing wheels to finish up we got to do the closing wheel uh, frame bushings there the update kit on that there's a new wheel there but it's coming along some new parts on here and uh, we got a big thing coming for it in the next few days so keep a lookout for that through precision that's the only hint I'm gonna give you and uh, yeah should be nice Thank you.